Yeah, I wanted to try something a little bit different this time for the new decade, new year. So the first film I went to go see was Bacorao. It was available video on demand. It's a story of a community of Brazilians who live in something that they dub as a Sertão, which they otherwise, you know, translates as an outback. And suddenly we get all these strange people coming in with guns to try to terrorize their little town and try to jeopardize it, as almost if to wipe them off, ethnic cleansing, or, you know, in terms of austerity cuts, and eliminate the poor. In many ways, this film has a lot in common with the most dangerous game on Purge. And I did see that element about it, even if the film has a bit of a weird pacing problem and you don't necessarily know what's going on here and there, here and there. But I think the headlines surrounding the film, regarding its satirical elements, as this was coming out during the Bolsonaro years, and heaven knows uh, Bolsonaro is definitely not popular with people on the left. He's not popular with me. This man is a fascist and a right-wing terrorist at that. So that was the thing that caught me by my eye, as well as some of the sort of satirical elements between the ethnic cleansers. Uh, I'm talking about, well, why would we want to kill these people? Yeah, let's just do it. As if they're mercenaries that are being hired, um, you know, to wipe out the population. It very much appeals to the sort of uh, disturbed, paranoid views of my existence. And then some. The violence, uh, at graphic at best, to the point it earned an 18 certificate, um, is quite striking, even if it doesn't use the certificate quite to its advantage, as there's only like about one or two scenes that really uh, pump the violence to the highest level, combined with some full frontal nudity. If anything, if you want to challenge yourself and uh, go with something foreign or independent, as I want to this year, I want to explore more films that aren't, Big budget Hollywood fair and stuff that, you know, comes out from the US and the UK. Give back or I'll try, but uh, only if you're that adventurous. I didn't think it was all that great, but it was very ambitious for what it was. And so there you have it. That's my first review of the decade and the year. This is Skinny Ebert signing off. Until next time, keep on watching.